So I stand in both places as far as boxes go. I have been that youth, obviously, um, learning and growing and fighting against what I was learning and taught, wanting to know, do I agree with this? Do I agree with that? Where am I at? Like I was all over the place. I totally admit that. And I've also been that parent, um, striving to bring my kids up, striving to give them values and instill this, um, some kind of morals and compassion into them for life, spending countless hours praying and hoping and talking about how to help them and how to understand them and what to do. So I've been on both sides of that. And the thing is that we often only see it from our own perspective. Oftentimes as parents, I think we might forget that we were that kid struggling to understand. And I think sometimes as a kid, we may actually forget that our parents were there as well. So in looking at the other side, parents often have this one little piece of peace for themselves, which is that when my kids grow up, they'll understand. When my kids have done a little bit of adulting, or maybe they have kids of their own, then they'll understand a little bit more about what I went through trying to raise them as a kid. And kids often grow up thinking, well, I'm going to do things way different than my parents did. I am not going to do this. I am not going to do that. And while the discipline may change, most of the time, the core values are still the same. They are still brought forth and help to nurture those kids and um, bring us into adulthood. In raising kids with values, you know, we, as parents, we're just, we're like, we want you to be safe. We want you to learn. We want you to be okay. We give you the rules. And as a kid, you're just like, I got to know why that rule is a rule because I really have no desire to follow that rule. So you might have kids that are just butting up against the rule and trying it to see why it's a rule, what made it be a rule. Is it really a rule that they agree with? And then you might have other kids that are just like totally breaking the rules and saying to hell with it. And then they, when the dust settles after this ridiculous altercation, then they might think, okay, so is that a rule I agree with? Or is that a rule that I'm, I'm just not quite settling with? And so kids often have this, this inner turmoil going on all the time because they are learning. They are testing the sides of that box and trying to understand where do they fit within that box and does most of them fit in that box, but a chunk of them fits outside the box. Like where, where do they fit and how do they fit and can they find peace in that and will they be accepted by their parents in that and maybe they don't care about that maybe they just say screw it i don't care what my parents think and they just go off on their own there are lots of family rifts that happen just because there's this conflict between what i want versus what you want as a parent it becomes a challenge to be this impartial neighbor saying you're an adult now and your choices are your choices. So I'm just going to let you make those choices. And I'm going to pray that you are okay. I'm going to hope that, that the knowledge and the lessons that I taught you are going to be good enough to help you navigate through life and find your way. And instead of having a judgment on some decision that you've made, I just have to sit back and say, that's cool. That's cool. So tell me about it. How are you feeling? And what are you doing? And it's not easy to be an impartial neighbor because as a parent, you've raised these kids for 18 years and you really just want to be able to keep raising them. It's, it's really hard to turn that switch off and say, oh, now you're an adult, so I'm going to let you be an adult. Um, so parents still want to give that nurturing love. And yet the kids are like, hey, I'm an adult now. I'm going to do my own thing. I don't need your nurturing because we are all unique human beings and because we are all living our own challenges, there are going to be times when um, a parent just can't let go. It's natural. <laughs> We've raised you. You are a part of us and, and we love you tremendously. There are going to be times when we as children want to break free from the parent and the 
um, weight of their judgment and possibly the weight of their boxes. And as a parent, they don't want to see that and they don't want to experience that. And as a child, you really want to break free. And yet, how do you do that? And you try to talk to your parents and they just don't understand. They are not able to be that impartial neighbor because they love you so much and they are so into it. It's not easy. First off, I need you to know it's not easy. It's really hard to navigate those relationships. And yet, if you come back to the true you, if you come back to where you feel most at peace and you work on your own stuff, it becomes easier to look at your parents and say, I know that my parents love me and that's why they feel that way and that's why they want to be so involved and I can let them be the way they need to be and I can still honor the way I need to be. This comes down to the pointing fingers. You need to leave me alone. You need to back off. And in the same aspect, work on yourself. The more at peace you are with yourself and where you stand and how you feel and what you want to do and the path that your your life is taking, the less their judgment weighs on you. Sometimes we allow their judgment to hold us back. We allow their judgment to hold us in that box and say, this is where they're like sitting on the lid, holding it down because we have allowed that string to hold us back, to tie us into that box. In breaking free from the box, it's all about you choosing your own peace, your own path, your love, your authenticity. So give your parents space. Give your parents time and be true to you. Start within. Once you look at them and you recognize they just love me and they want the best for me, you can set that aside and remove the weight from the top of the box so that you can still come out and be yourself. Take your time. It won't happen in a day. It happens over a while. Sometimes it takes a lifetime. And sometimes you are absolutely blessed and you find out that your parents are way more accepting of your new path than you thought. We live in this time, this very, very, very beautiful, unique time when everybody is trying to define who they are and what they want to be, how they want to live. While they've had these boxes in the past, these defined spaces as humans are just not necessarily the defined spaces that that we really want to operate in. And so these roles of like husband and wife and teacher, student, and the whole race, religion, and gender, and all of that stuff, they're all ways to keep us divided and separate. It's, it's the me versus you, and it's that added conflict. And I don't believe that these work anymore. I strongly believe that that it's time to work on ourselves and get right with ourselves so that we can be more compassionate with each other. It's not that tradition is dead and gone. Tradition is very much alive. It is very much alive and it is very, very beautiful. We are creating new traditions. We are creating a new way to be. We are working out how we fit in, or maybe we don't feel like we fit in, So we're searching for a place that we do and a way that we do. We're trying to resolve those uncertainties and and that fire alarm squawking in the middle of the night. We are trying to understand, how do I break this box? How do I shift this in a way that honors my parents and yet still allows me to be true to me? I really think that we forget. Our parents were kids too. Our parents... We think that they just grew up in these boxes and that they accepted them and that this, this is perfectly fine with them to keep living in that. We don't think about the fact that when our parents were kids, they probably tested those rules too. And they probably butted up against the walls of the box and they probably figured out, you know, I don't really like this one and I don't really like that one. And what your parents settled on, it comes from a result of them testing their own boxes. We don't really talk about it. We don't talk about how we had to fight against this and fight against that. We just know that we want to be different. And we are all different. We are all unique. We are all learning. We are all growing. And we all have our own stuff to deal with. 
What truly matters is what's inside. We have to get right with ourselves before we can even hope to be able to help someone else. As long as we're pointing fingers at somebody else, we are failing to take the responsibility of me and what I'm doing and how I'm affecting other people. We're also failing to look at why do I feel that way? Why do I feel fear? Why do I feel uncertainty? Why do I feel conflict inside myself in this moment? And once you dig in a little bit to yourself and recognize where you are, where your true center is, what your true beliefs and values are, until you do that, you will be in conflict and you will be struggling and you will want to point at everyone else because you personally have not been able to sit down with yourself. So I would like to encourage us all to just start within. How do you truly feel? Where do you truly stand? What brings you peace? What does the authentic, sincere you desire? And where does that reside? I would encourage you to look at it and say, if I was living my truest, most, most authentic, happy, joyful life, what would that look like? How would I feel inside? What food would you be eating? What job would you be doing? What are your mannerisms? What are your friends? I encourage you to find that. I encourage you to look for it. I encourage you to seek out that being and find that joy and that peace. Live that true life that only you can live for you. Thank you.